I want you to picture a moment in your life when everything seemed uncertain and you longed for a sense of direction. Perhaps you faced challenges that were overwhelming or you faced experiences that shook your faith, your understanding of God, and all you were looking for was a source of guidance and hope. Today, as we explore the words of Jesus in Mark chapter 13, we'll uncover a message that speaks directly to these types of experiences in our lives, the life's most challenging times. As we go on this journey together, listen for the wisdom and the comfort that God's Word can offer us, trusting that it will provide the strength and the clarity that we need to navigate even the most difficult times of our lives. The passage that we're taking a closer look at today is part of the larger biblical narrative that points towards Jesus. These texts may have been written a long time ago, and yet they are still relevant and active today. The Holy Spirit communicates with us through them, and I hope that you hear God speaking to you today. Then you take a moment to write some things down. There's a place if you're here in person in the bulletin to take some notes so that you can reflect on what you've heard in the days ahead. Before we dive into today's passage, I want to remind you where we've been over the last couple of weeks. We've been on a journey through the gospel according to Mark, exploring the teachings and actions of Jesus while he's in Jerusalem, the capital city. Two weeks ago in Mark chapter 12, 1 through 17, we saw Jesus using a parable to challenge the religious leaders and emphasize the importance of giving to God what belongs to God. Last week, in Mark chapter 12, 28 to 44, we delved into the greatest commandment, loving God and loving our neighbors, and saw Jesus commend a poor widow for her sacrificial giving. Today, as we turn our attention to Mark chapter 13, we find Jesus preparing his disciples for challenges that were coming ahead. He warns them of the impending destruction of the temple and the trials that they will face in the future, just as Jesus challenged the religious leaders and commended the poor widow for her faith. He now urges his disciples to remain vigilant and faithful in the face of adversity. These passages share a common thread, the importance of remaining steadfast in our faith, of giving all that we have to God and trusting in God's plan even when we are uncertain or even when we may not know what the steps ahead might look like. So let's take a closer look at this passage of Scripture for today. The Gospel of Mark was believed to be the very earliest written gospel, you remember. It's likely written in around the year 70, during a time of great upheaval for the Jewish people. At this time, when it was written, the Roman Empire had tightened its grip on Jerusalem, and the first Jewish-Roman war was well underway. In this persecution, uncertainty, and with the looming destruction of the temple— It was at the center of their religious life and their cultural life, and it was to be destroyed in a short time. In our scripture passage for today, we see Jesus in Jerusalem at this place, engaging in a discourse, a conversation with his disciples. Some theologians call this particular chapter the Olivet Discourse, the conversation on the Mount of Olives that he had with his disciples. It's between his teachings in the temple and the passion narrative. It highlights the importance of Jesus' message about preparing for the future and God's faithfulness in difficult times. This passage is a prophetic warning. It uses metaphors of birth pains and celestial disturbances and the coming of the Son of Man to convey the intensity and significance of the events that were coming. The main themes were around watchfulness and readiness and trust in God's plan despite adversity. This chapter resonates with other apocalyptic passages in the Bible, such as Daniel and Revelation, which also deals with themes of suffering and perseverance and ultimate redemption. The passage emphasizes that while trials and challenges are part of our lives, God will remain sovereign and will vindicate those who are faithful. 
As we navigate our challenges and uncertainties in our lives, Mark chapter 13 is a powerful reminder to pay attention for where God is even when we don't expect God to be at work, to remain hopeful in God's promises of new life and restoration. Just as Jesus prepared his disciples for the difficulties ahead, this passage can help encourage us to find strength and resilience in our relationship with God, trusting that God's love and mercy will come out on top. We face any number of challenges in our lives, daily, weekly, on a regular basis, moments that can test our faith. We might feel overwhelmed by personal struggles, social pressures, or crises around the globe that shake our sense of stability. And Jesus' words from Mark 13 can speak directly to us during these times and offer us guidance and hope. Just as the disciples marveled at the temple's grandeur, we also can be fixated on this world's temporary structures and achievements. Jesus reminds us that even the most impressive human accomplishments or constructions will eventually crumble. This teaches us and reminds us to prioritize our relationship with God, to invest in those things that are eternal instead of focusing only on the things of this life that will eventually come to nothing. Moreover, Jesus warns us about trials and tribulations. Life won't always be easy and compares them to birth pains. These challenges, whether personal or global, can be painful and distressing and very real. However, just as birth pains signal the beginning of a new life, our struggles can lead to growth, renewal, and a deeper understanding of God's presence in our lives. In the face of of challenges, God invites us to remain watchful and prayerful and ready. This might mean nurturing our spiritual lives every day by things like practicing prayer, reading the scriptures, and doing acts of compassion. By staying connected to God and grounded in our faith, we can develop the resilience and wisdom to navigate life's ups and downs. Jesus emphasizes the importance of paying attention, of staying alert, and avoiding spiritual complacency. When we have choices to make every day, we can choose to embody Christ's love and work towards the coming of God's kingdom on earth. This invites us to live out our faith with intention, with purpose, to stand up for justice, and to extend compassion to those that are in need. Ultimately, Mark 13 encourages us to find hope and purpose in our daily lives, trusting in God's plan. Even when the world around us might seem chaotic or our lives might seem uncertain, we can hold fast to the promise that God is guiding us through our challenges, that God walks with us even during the most difficult times, and we can discover the strength and resilience to thrive amid life's un complexities. The good news is that even amid life's challenges and uncertainties, we have a source of unshakable hope and guidance in Jesus Christ. The words of Mark chapter 13 remind us that while the world around us may change and crumble, God's love and presence remain constant. This week, I encourage you to respond to this scripture in a handful of ways. First, Prioritize your relationship with God. Set aside time each day for prayer, scripture reading, and reflection. Let this be a sacred space where you can connect with God and find strength for the journey ahead. Second, look for opportunities to embody Christ's love and compassion in your interactions with others. Reach out to someone struggling, offer a listening ear, or an act of kindness. When we extend grace and care to those around us, we participate in the coming of God's kingdom here on earth. Finally, when faced with challenges or difficult decisions, turn to God for wisdom and for guidance. Trust that the Holy Spirit is at work in each of our lives and leading us towards a light and life and hope. Remember that even during the darkest times, God's light shines. Let these words of Jesus resonate with you deeply this week and remind you that you are never alone. Even in a world of uncertainty and challenge and change, we have an unshakable source of hope, 
resilience, and strength in Christ. Just as he equipped his disciples to face the trials in the days ahead, Jesus empowers us with the faith and courage to navigate challenges in our own lives. So embrace the gospel's transformative power and take steps to deepen your relationship with God. Pray intentionally, act kindly, and be fully present with those around you. Let your life be a living testament to God's love and grace. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Transform our hearts and minds to reflect your love and grace more fully. Please give us the courage to live out our faith on purpose. And we pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.